Hello and welcome to Reanimator, the deck that returns massive creatures from the grave as early as turn one. So what does this deck want to bring back? So we have a choice of haste evasive creatures like these that can help us beat down as fast as possible. We also have creatures resilient to removal such as these and we also have these cards. So Visara can kill creatures and Phantom Neshoba is an absolute beat stick against aggro and super hard to deal with on turn one. The most commonly played cards are these ones. It's just an all round mixture. Phantom Neshoba is definitely the most played and Worm is probably second most. So we need a way to get these cards into our graveyard to bring them back. So these cards do that. Cabal Therapy is also really nice because we can use it on opponents as well as ourselves and the flashback works well with Symbiotic Worm. For actually bringing them back, we have these reanimation cards. They basically all do the same thing, although they have slightly different pros and cons depending on the situation, but half the time doesn't really make a difference which one you use. For Acceleration, we've got the classics of Lotus Petal and Dark Ritual. These can really help us to get a turn one creature out there. And not all decks do play Disruption, but the ones that do often play Duress or Unmask because Unmask can be played for free. And I've seen some spicy lists playing Worldly Tutor, which can be used to tutor up some spicy things to reanimate for specific scenarios or situations. And I've also seen decks playing Hidden Horror as a spicy way to discard creatures. Uh, it's a bit slow, so I'm not really a huge fan of Hidden Horror, but you might see it. For lands, we're playing all the five color lands because of course we're playing a ton of different colors. And we're also playing Underground River because black and blue are probably the extra colors we need the most. Our sideboard is a little different from other decks. We do have stuff for creatures, maybe some disruption or naturalize, but we also have a transformational sideboard. Our deck is very obvious what we're trying to do and people are bringing graveyard hate. So we need Stronghold Gambit or Oath of Druids as an alternative way to put cards into play without using our graveyard. And Phyrexian Negator is also a great way against control decks to beat them down without having to spend too much mana. So when playing against this deck, of course people are bringing graveyard hate. Also Swords to Plowshares can remove the creature from the game. Naturalize takes out Animate Dead, which can actually be useful. And if you have more time, you can land something like a Humility or just try to combo them out before they can kill you. We're definitely a combo deck through and through. Our deck just tries to do its thing and hope that that's enough to win the game. Against aggro, we're literally just trying to go as fast as we can. And against control, also, to be honest, most of the time trying to go as fast as we can. The strengths, it's super fast. It has some absolutely devastating draws and some easy wins. For example, aggro decks really struggle with a turn one Neshoba. We can also play disruption if we want. And with the new Mulligan rule, that helps our deck a lot. But the hate cards can be brutal. It's a very all-in strategy if they deal with the creatures you put into play. You might struggle to find more stuff to do because we don't really have that good card draw. So here's a list, but as always, I do recommend you check TC decks. And these do take me a while to make, so if you like them, please do like, comment, and subscribe. It really means so much to me, and thank you for watching.